Two skaters A and B are initially at rest on frictionless ice. They push on each other, so they move away from each other with velocities negative two meters per second and three meters per second, respectively. The ratio of their masses, M A over M B, is A, four ninths; B, two thirds; C, one to one; D, three halves; E, nine fourths. This is an explosion problem. The two skaters starts together, and then there's energy released from the two people burning calories, and the energy gets released, and they move away from each other. So it's an explosion problem, which means that we can use the conservation of momentum. So initial momentum equals to the final momentum. Since they are initially at rest. The initial momentum is zero, so the final momentum must also be zero. So afterwards, they must move with the equal and opposite direction momentum. So the total momentum in the end can be zero. So the m a times the velocity plus the m b times the final velocity must be zero. That means uh, m a times two equals to m b times three. So the ratio of the mass must be three to two. If you move the b to this side and two to this side, that's what we get. So the answer is、uh, d. Or we can say that、uh, since the the amount of momentum of a has to equal to the amount of momentum. B and the momentum is m times v. They have to have the same amount of momentum. So if the velocity is two to three, that means the mass must be three to two. So that m times v would be the same amount. Two balls of mass. 0.1 kilogram and 0.3 kilogram initially moving in the y direction collide with each other. Immediately after the collision, the x component of the velocity of the 0.1 kilogram is 5 meters per second to the right. What is the x component of the velocity of the 0.3 kilograms immediately after the collision? A. 15 meters per second to the left. B. Five thirds meters per second to the right. C, fifteen meters per second to the right. D, five thirds meters per second to the left. E, not enough information is provided to find that component. It is a collision problem, so we can use conservation of the momentum. And it is a two-dimensional collision. That means、uh, we just have to look at the x and y separately. The question asks us about the x component of the velocity, so we only need to look at the x direction. Let's see. Initially, the momentum in the x direction is、uh, zero. None of these two balls have momentum in the x direction. That means the the final momentum in the x direction should also be zero. We know that the 0.1 kilogram ball has a velocity that's five meters per second in the x direction. The 0.3 kilogram ball may have an x component velocity, since this equals to zero. So it's zero equals to 0.5 plus 0.3 v x. If I move this over to the other side and then divide by 0.3 on both sides, I will get v x is negative five thirds meters per second. I was using to the right as positive five. That means this must be to the left. So the answer is five thirds meters per second to the left. The answer is D. To answer this question, we do not need the y component at all.